a wooden table, flattened almost to abstraction. A simple ceramic plate tipped towards us, loaded with the riches of Provence. What seems to be a modest domestic scene carefully reveals an emotional and artistic complexity. Each object has its own sculptural presence and vibrancy, reflecting a new way of seeing that changed the history of art. Paul Cezanne's still life with peaches and pears, painted over several months between 1885 and 1887, a bold revelation of something other than reality. Cezanne was methodical when it came to choosing and arranging objects for his still lifes. No sooner was the cloth draped on the table with innate taste than Cezanne set out the peaches in such a way as to make the complementary colours vibrate, recalled his friend, the painter Louis Le Bay. Greys next to reds, yellows to blues, leaning, tilting, balancing the fruit at the angles he wanted, sometimes pushing a one or two sou coin under them. You could see from the care he took how much it delighted his eye. Cezanne's paintings embody his desire to give both sculptural volume and emotional weight to humble, everyday objects. Ceramic pitchers and plates, jars and bowls. To these objects, he added fruits and vegetables from the local area. Apples, peaches, pears, cherries, aubergines, melons, onions, lemons. They are presented not as food, but as objects of contemplation. Cezanne painted not just what he saw, but what he felt, or, as he put it, what our eyes think. Cezanne has always been deeply attached to his native Aix-en-Provence and the surrounding countryside, returning often throughout the 1860s and 70s to paint his now iconic views of Montagne saint victoire and Lestac, a small fishing village near Marseille. In the 1880s, Cézanne withdrew entirely from his avant-garde peers in Paris, settling permanently in his native Provence. This self-imposed isolation allowed him to fully engage in his solitary struggle with a new, more subjective approach to painting, pursuing his own unique vision. I proceed very slowly, Cézanne once explained, for nature reveals herself to me in a very complex form and constant progress must be made. One must see one's model correctly and experience it in the right way. 1886 was an emotionally turbulent time for Cézanne. He fell out with his lifelong friend, writer Emile Zola. His father, with whom he had a tense relationship, passed away. Living alone in Provence, away from his wife Hortense and their child Paul, it has been suggested that still life with peaches and pears is a family portrait of sorts with Cézanne represented by the isolated pear to the right and his son nestled inside the bowl of sensually rendered peaches. Still life with peaches and pears reflects Cézanne's power to project human emotions, absorbed in the structures of the still life and yet still a painter of human desires. <laughs>